Based on Beauty Prize 2024 report in Scratch magazine, it has been stated that oyster nails are gaining in popularity, rising over 100% just within sort of your summer months to October, which is amazing. So these nails feature that pearlescent sort of colour vibe, that shift in shade, and also they incorporate the minimalistic gold details, whether that's like a beautiful um, outline of the oyster shell or going for more circular motifs. Now, in this nail art tutorial, you're gonna see how to take Hona's best products to recreate this trending look. Enjoy. I'm first of all going to begin this look with Pure Build Pampers. Now, Pampers is a beautiful natural shade and it reminds me of beach weddings, so I thought it'd be absolutely perfect for this look. It is a soft gel and you can see that I've done a paper layer and then I am starting to build the product after 30 seconds of it being cured. You may want to do another coat because um, it is slightly sheer. Once cured, I'm going to go in with a layer of Complete Base. Now, Complete Base by Hona can be used as a blooming gel. So we're going to apply a fairly generous layer over the top of our base. Taking my Nail Lux H brush, I am going to dip it carefully into my white detail paint by Hona and then swoosh it down the whole of the nail and I'm also creating another wave coming out from there and you just want to swoosh that brush. Now that's going to start bleeding into the layer of base gel that you've just put down and taking my ombre brush I am just going to blend it out ever so slightly so that white starts bleeding across the whole of the nail. Once I've gone one way, I'm going to make sure that I rotate and come down the other side. And I'm just being mindful of the direction that I am blending this out. So with this line, I'm going to pull it up towards the tip of the nail. And then making sure that I do the opposite on the other side. And you're just distributing that gel so it bleeds beautifully across. And you're creating all these lovely little veins of white. Now you could do this step with just your liner brush, but I find an ombre brush a lot better in terms of the quality that you get when you are dragging the white out into the base coat. Because you do have those lighter weight bristles and it's not too heavy. I'm now going to take Radiance, which is this beautiful iridescent detail art paint, and you can use this as almost like a chrome top coat. Not only do you have those beautiful lilac undertones with this shade, it is sheer enough that you get all the detail that we've just created come through underneath, creating a really natural look. Taking your buffing block, you're going to prep the nail for chroming and buff the whole of it down. The reason being is because you don't want chrome to stick to any part of the background other than the black line that we're going to do with this detail paint. So taking your Nail Lux H brush or any liner brush and we're going to start creating our organic oyster shape. So I'm going to take my brush and bring it down. Couple of waves. Any areas that want slightly thicker I'm going to press down with my liner brush. And don't be afraid to change direction as well and join those lines up together. So I'm now going to start up the top just getting a little bit more paint press down and swoosh it so I'm going to bring it in slightly lift my brush up a little bit to create a finer line and joining and there we go I'm going to cure that for just 30 seconds no longer than that and then once it's out I'm going to take this beautiful chrome by Hona it's called Long Island it's, it's part of their cocktail collection and using the applicator sponge that their chromes come with, I'm going to really buff that into the organic shape that I've made. Just want to really rub it in. Once happy, cure for 30 seconds and then dust that chrome off using your dusting brush. And there we go. We now need to seal that chrome, otherwise it's going to chip. So you want to take your high shine top coat and I'm going to go around the whole of the line that I've just made. And once I've done that, I'm actually going to drag the gel from all of the edges into the center. 
So I'm just going to finish going around here. I'm being fairly generous as well because it will spread ever so slightly and then I can use that excess and drag it into the middle because I want to add some flakes into the centre of that oyster shape. And by doing this now, I'm not going to add layers upon layers of different gels. I want to try and use less layers and less products to make things a lot easier. So once I've done that, taking Luna, these are beautiful flakes by Hone, and you've got those little bit of pinks and blues in there that you normally see within um, an oyster or any shell. And I'm going to place that in the centre just a little bit. And then once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to cure that now fully for 60 seconds. Now once cured, I'm going to go back in with that base coat to act as a blooming gel and just apply a little bit at the centre of that oyster nail. I'm then going to take radiance and white detail paint and just add a little bit more colour so I can create a bit more depth to the oyster shell. So I'm only applying a little dots and I am swishing them around in just the centre of the oyster shape. Now, instead of my ombre brush, which you could use, I am doing this with my liner brush because I want to create slightly thicker lines so you can see more of the white coming through, creating a little bit more contrast with that background that we created. Now, once you've cured that for 60 seconds, you're going to take your dotting tool and we're going to make some pearls. So I'm being fairly generous here. I'm going to create one pearl this side and another on over now it's up to you how many you want but I want two <laughs> and once I've cured that for 60 seconds I'm going to take radiance yet again and use it almost like um, a chrome dust and I'm just going over the top of my pearls to make them even more pearly that is the beauty of this detail paint it's literally like a chrome top coat it's wonderful so once I'm happy with that, I'm going to cure it for the 60 seconds and then I'm going to take this beautiful flesh gel by Hona called Clique. It's part of their new After Party collection. If you haven't seen my unboxing video of After Party, then do. It is fantastic. I'm going to add just a couple of clusters around the pearls and then I'm going to do the same with Clique. Conceal. So this is actually part of the sister collection to After Party, the first collection of Honus Flash Gels. And the silver is hopefully going to contrast but complement the gold accents and pearls that we've just created. So I'm just literally dotting them about where I personally feel that they should go. I'm going to add a little bit on top of the pearls as well, just to create a little bit more for a layered look. And there we go. So once cured, you're going to take your favourite top coat. This is Super Shine by Hona. And I'm really making sure that I cap the edge and I am absolutely covering every nook and cranny of this nail to avoid chipping. Once happy, I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and then take my acetone wipe just to get rid of any residue, but normally I don't need to. And there we have it my oyster nail that is very much 2024 on trend. So big happy new year to everybody. I hope we all have a super start to 2024. And thank you for joining me on my nail art journey. I hope you found inspiration and enjoyed watching the creative process. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with my latest nail art tutorials. Until next time, keep expressing yourself through beautiful nail designs and take care and keep creating. Just don't stop creating. Bye.